Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today we're gonna do a Good American haul. I have never owned or tried on anything from Good American. They are a women-owned company, they are size inclusive, and they are a certified B corporation. So I am very ready to love them. I've heard great things about their sizing, especially from other mid-size and plus-size influencers. So let's give them a shot and see how it goes. All right, so the first two things I have on are the Cotton Baby Tee. The color is called Candy Wash. It's like a washed pink, and I thought it was really pretty. It's very comfortable. I'm wearing it in a 2X. It's very stretchy, and it's a little bit cropped. It comes, it comes to about here, so about right where your belly button is. I like the tee a lot. I can see wearing this one with any huge number of things. Uh, a good, comfortable basic. I like it. The shorts are the Good American High Waist Trousers in Ivory. They are a size 15. They don't do anything for me, to be honest. Um, they're very thin. You can't see through them because the lining on the pockets comes down low enough that it covers anywhere that you would be able to see through. So they're nice and lightweight for sure. They have pockets on the sides that are zippered, which is kind of nice because you don't have to worry about things falling out of the pockets. They're nice and deep, so you can actually put a phone in it. And there's two deep back pockets as well. I'm not in love with the shorts and at the price point, I wanna really love them. I heard on the internet, so it has to be true, that the most returned sizes for Good American when they started releasing jeans were the women's size 14 and the women's size 16. So they created a size 15 that is supposed to be right in between the two. And it just so happens, your girl right here is right in between the two. I waver between a 14 and a 16. So maybe the size 15 is a bridge to a whole new world. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> so I have four pairs of jeans that I'm gonna try on for you today from Good American. The first pair I have on is the Good Ease jeans in a size 14. And these fit, so I kinda of think I probably didn't need to go up to the 15. I was just really excited about a size 15, but these actually feel really nice. They are very long, so I have these big old clod hoppers on. I'm stepping on them, even with these big shoes. Granted, I am not a tall person. I am 5'4", so shorter side of average. They are super comfortable though. They're very relaxed in the legs especially, and then fitted around the waist. They're about a mid-rise jean, I would say. It goes straight across where my belly button is. The pockets are pretty shallow, but that's okay. I'm not bothered. And the butt looks, the butt looks okay. It doesn't do wonders for it or anything. So yeah, I like these. They're nice. They are easy, very relaxed, very loose. Made for a taller person without a doubt, but very comfortable, very soft. Maybe I do need a size down. Isn't denim sizing the most infuriating thing ever? I hate trying on denim because it just never, never fits right. You never have the right size. You will try on what you think should be two sizes too big and you can't even zip it up. Risk a size too small and they're huge. Well, can, can we all just get on the same measurement system? These are the same jeans, the Good Ease, uh, one size up in the fabled size 15. You can see they are humongous. I'm swimming in them. <laughs> the 14 was loose. These are just way too big. Okay, so we're back down to a size 14 in the Good Legs straight jean. They're not too tight, but they're considerably tighter in every area than the size 14 good ease. And I understand that that's, they're two different styles of jeans, but just the waistband on the good ease jeans, I felt like I didn't have this muffin top going on that I now feel like I have with the good legs straight jean. That being said, I do feel like they do my booty a few more favors than the good ease did. Booty's not looking so bad. The length is also just way more my speed. These are probably supposed to be cropped on any normal person, but since I'm short, they are like a perfect ankle length. <laughs> um, I just don't love how tight they are across the waist and across my belly, honestly. That is my struggle. I think I liked the style of the goodies jeans a little bit better. I liked the shape of them and these ones just feel 
they feel too much like skinny jeans to me and I'm so over the whole skinny jeans thing. These are the good classic jeans in a size 15, back up to the 15. They have this really cool like crisscross waistband. So I'll show you how it works because I was a little confused and I still think it might not be super functional. So there's like this inside waistband and then like an outside waistband. I had to put them both on the same button and the, the button doesn't stick out any further than a normal button. So it's kind of a tight squeeze on there for two waistbands. And so I'm pretty afraid this is just gonna pop off. But I do like the way that it looks. I think it looks really, really unique and kind of cool. I think my butt looks pretty nice in them. Not mad about that. If I were wearing flats, they would come straight down to the floor. These are a perfect length on me. I think the thing that I'm not loving in any of these jeans is the lack of structure. They're very soft, they're very comfortable, they're very stretchy, so the sizing has a lot of give. You know, if you want your jeans skin tight, this would be a good brand to go with and just size down, like size down as much as you can, because they all have some, like a good amount of stretch. I kind of want some structure up here to sort of like hold all this in. <laughs> Y'all are like, Kara, that's called a tummy tuck, not a pair of jeans. I know, I know, but I'm gonna pay this much for jeans. I want them to do something for my figure. The next outfit is the Stripe Stretch Cotton Poplin Shorts and the poplin corset top. They're a matching stripe print, which you can see if I get up close. The corset top zips up the back and the shorts are just elastic. I have them both on in an extra large. It's a cute set. I am not totally in love with it, especially at this price point. The shorts are not lined, but they do have the zipper pockets again, which is nice. The corset is lined. One thing that I'm already not loving about the corset is this extra bit right here. So I feel like that fabric needs to be gone and it should just lay flat. Maybe it's for women with a bigger bust, but I don't know how much bigger you could get and still fit in the front of this shirt. The shape of the top is nice. It's flattering in the bodice area. I'll give it that. And I like that it comes down a little bit further in the front. This is a Good American Ruched Leopard Print Top. Again, I'm just not in love with it. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna be like a nice, bold statement top. I thought I would feel really kind of sexy in it. <laughs> Their clothing is, is very soft. There's a lot of give, but there is not a lot of structure. Um, there's not a lot of structure to their denim, I have found, and there's not a lot of structure to this top. It kind of just hugs everything, even the things you don't want it to hug. I love the print and I love the ruching because I think in general ruching is like a really great way to flatter a woman's figure and get things to hug in the right places. Uh, but this top doesn't do it for me. I try not to put on shapewear to try on most things. If I'm doing a styling video, yes, I will put some shapewear on just to make the clothing look as good as they can look. When I'm just doing try on haul, uh, I try to avoid shapewear because I want to see, is this something that I can just throw on and go? Or is this something I'm going to need to kind of fiddle around with and try to find the right thing to wear under it? I had to put shapewear on with this dress because I just looked like a sausage in not enough casing without it. So this is the modern scuba tank dress by Good American. I got it in a size 2X. Glad I didn't size down to an extra large. It's still got these weird extra fabric flaps hanging out here, which I, I don't get it. Even with some light shapewear on, this is still very tight in my midsection and my midsection is the place that I do not want something to be tight. I don't feel confident. So this dress is not for me. That being said, it is a really soft, comfortable dress. I love this lollipop pink color. The length of this dress is perfect. I have like some heeled sandals on, but I really don't need them. I could wear flats and it would just be brushing the top of my feet. The dress is lined. There's a really thick material that's stretchy on the outside and then a thinner stretchy material on the inside. It feels like the same material. Uh, the inside layer just doesn't have quite as much thickness to it. So yeah, this one's going back to all of the good American things I've tried do not lack for comfort. They are comfortable. They have a lot of give. They're gonna hug whatever you've got going on. <laughs> For me personally, I like a little bit more structure because there are things going on that I 
don't want to accentuate. Not everybody is that way. So I can see why people really love Good American. They make comfortable clothes that are very stylish. All in all, the Good American denim for me was kind of a bust. I am, however, still smitten on the size 15. I love that they looked at the customer feedback. I love that they are making things for real women's bodies. Go Good American, that is amazing. I think other companies should take note and also make a size 15 because there are plenty of 14s out there that I cannot fit into. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.